Thank you for uh, being here to uh, uh, support me. Um, I would uh, ask you, you probably already have done that, to uh, switch off, turn off the uh, mobile phones. Um, this is an impromptu um, recital or collection of songs from, um, that I had initially prepared for the Shakespeare notes. Um, and it is an invitation to go all the way back to a time when uh, actually we had time. People had time to listen to, to songs. They uh, took their time to go through verses and many stanzas. It was also a good time in the time of Shakespeare and Elizabeth because uh, it was a change, a gradual change from uh, church music to secular music. Uh, at, uh, the Queen had uh, various composers uh, and uh, she herself was playing the lute and the virginal, which is a, uh, a simplified version of the hat. And uh, <clears throat> what is remarkable in, in that time is that all these songs became popular. Uh, the composers uh, harmonized them and people started to sing on, on different uh, voices and different harmonies. That's an important part because some of those songs are still uh, sung these days as uh, madrigals. And um, I will sing one or two of, of, of those. Uh, of course, I cannot do several voices at the same time. <clears throat> but um, let's start with one that was very popular at, at the time. And um, it's called uh, We Be Soldiers 3. Um, I would uh, actually want to, uh, I want you to help me <clears throat> with this song and we'll do a response, if you please, with you. So the, the song goes like, we be soldiers three, and you're going, pardonnez-moi, je vous en prie. So, we be soldiers three. One more time, and then we go. So we be soldiers three. Here we go. We be soldiers three. Home from the low country with never a penny of money. Lately come home from the low country with never a penny of money. Here, dear fellow, I drink to thee. To all the good fellows wherever they be with never a penny of money. To all the good fellows wherever they be with never a penny of money. Charge it again, boy, charge it again. As long as there is any ink in your bed with never a penny of money. As long as there is any ink in your bed with never a penny of money. We be soldiers free, par de moi je vous en prie. Lately come home from the low country with never a penny of money. Lately come home from the low country with never a penny of money. Now, the... Uh, People uh, think that uh, with never a penny of money actually is, uh, some people would say with never a penny of many, and it was a kind of dialectal uh, pronunciation of that. What is uh, intriguing about this song is that um, why we be soldiers and why from the lower country, from Netherlands? 
And I had to actually research that. And uh, the Queen had sent some mercenaries to the Netherlands, to the Low Countries, because, well, they had to solve some political internal conflicts. And these were a guy coming back from, from the battlefield with some, uh, you know, money, maybe not many. Uh, what is uh, also um, in the tradition of, of that era is that, uh, um, you know, uh, the, the verse goes, uh, as long as there is any ink in your pen, it has a clear sexual connotation that has been lost. Of course, it's not as long as you have ink in the fountain pen. <laughs> so as long as you're still young and, uh, you know, you can still do it, let's, uh, let's invest uh, in drinking and uh, pleasures. Um, I will uh, do a, um, from soldiers to um, what I think is a, an interesting uh, soldier, if you want, uh, orderly, perhaps, which is uh, Ariel. And uh, this is a song that is generally done as a, uh, uh, now as, uh, as a madrigal. And uh, again, it goes like this. Uh, Ariel with, uh, has gone through uh, some uh, hormonal changes. <laughs> Where the bee sucks their sunlight In a cowslip's bed I lie There I couch where owls do cry On a bed's back I do fly After summer merry day Where the bee sucks their sunlight In a cowslip's bed I lie Couch when owls do fly on a bed speck, I do fly on the summer merrily. Merrily, merrily shall I live now under the blossom that hangs on the bough. Merrily, merrily shall I live now under the blossom that hangs from the bough. Merrily, merrily shall I live now. Under the blossom that hangs from the bough, merrily, merrily shall I live now. Under the blossom that hangs from the bough. Now, where the bee sucks has traditionally created lots of problems for translators, because uh, even uh, without the political correctness. Uh, Sucks uh, in, in any translation uh, becomes problematic. Um, so um, I know that sucks, so to speak. But uh, okay, from uh, in uh, the uh, that Shakespeare era in Elizabeth uh, time, uh, there were lots of songs, and I am going to. Uh, um, sing one that was very popular at the time. It is called the uh, Hangman. Um, it was uh, taken by immigrants in the States uh, later in the 17th century. Uh, I will tell you a little more after we do this. Uh, so people had time and uh, they would go for five, six stanzas. This one is a uh, guy who uh, fellow who's about to be hanged. And uh, he says, uh, slack up your rope because I see my father coming. Maybe he has given me money to uh, pay the fee and uh, rescue me. And then he says, mother is coming. Then the brother is coming. And finally, there is uh, true love that comes uh, for the rescue. So I will not do five or six tens. I will do uh, just to, because you already know the uh, story, and the music is in a way repetitive, like it was with most of the old songs. Hangman, hangman, slack up your road, slack it for a while. I look over yonder and I see my heart coming. Walked for many a mile, 
has come to see the, the man hanging. Because he says, uh, you'll hang and you'll never break the heart of any other. <clears throat> but it is interesting. They, they swear it is a local tradition for centuries. <clears throat> now from um, a uh, would-be hanging to uh, a uh, probably the saddest song in uh, in Shakespeare's play, at least uh, that's what I, th I think. Um, it is uh, alluded to uh, in the conversation between Desdemona and uh, Emilia, and it is the Willow Song. Again, it's, it's a long one that has six or seven stanzas. I would only uh, do uh, three of those. Um, generally, it is done with lute and a uh, soprano, or, uh, but uh, I will try to do both the lute and the not soprano in the real voice. Mm -hmm. 